Last night, the homepage of England football, as well as all major newspapers in the country, simultaneously published information that would make any Red Devil fans proud after hearing it. Right. Finally, the precious gem from Carrington Training Center that they own has just been named on Coach Southgate's England team call-up list for the upcoming FIFA Day, where they will have a fierce encounter with Brazil and Belgium. Specifically, the announcement from the England football newspaper is as follows. The 18-year-old player was originally a member of the U21 team, but was included in Southgate's group. All 25 other players were at St. George Park on Tuesday, ahead of upcoming international matches against Brazil and Belgium. Man United midfielder Mainu previously played for the England team at the U17 to U19 level. Speaking on the media, the 2005 midfielder revealed, I was gathering with the U21 team when I received a text message from the England team's assistant. Mr. Steve Holland told me to meet him at the reception desk. He then informed me that I had been called up. I didn't think I would have that honor, but now I feel like I'm excited. My family is also excited about it. At the same time, on his personal Instagram page, Kobe Mainu posted a photo of himself wearing an England team shirt and standing in front of the team's logo with a smile filled with pride, along with the status line, what an honor to be called up to the highest level squad for the first time. This is said to be an impressive breakthrough for Mainu, who was once a member of the U17 and U19 teams. However, due to various issues, Mainu is not on the list of names that have joined England U21 to reach the top position at U21 Euro 2023. But now he does not even need to play for U21. But right now, Mainu has an opportunity to make his debut for the national team. In fact, there were no reported injuries at the England players' camp, and that meant Mainu was not called up as a replacement, but instead, he was the one Southgate decided to add to his list after thinking about all the options he had at hand. Previously, the strategist's failure to summon Kobe Mainu created many conflicting waves. There are many opinions that Mainu is more worthy of registration than Jordan Henderson, who has just returned to Europe after a short time playing in the Middle East, or Conor Gallagher who is still caught up in a spiral of fraud with Chelsea. As for Mainu, since his first start in the Premier League this season, in a 3-0 victory over Everton in November, he has received a lot of praise from fans, colleagues, and experts. Mainu's appearance is the key for Ten Hag to solve urgent problems in the midfield, not conductor Bruno Fernandes' world-class star Casemiro or a rookie with high expectations Mason Mount it is Kobe Maino who has carried MU's midfield for the entire time. With a succession of top performances, he even made more experienced players like Christian Eriksen have to be on the bench. He really made a big difference at the Theatre of Dreams, playing in the number six role, having to directly participate in defensive activities, and also playing the role of initiating the ball attacks as well as escaping the fierce siege of the opposing team's players is already an important task. But this is also the Premier League arena, considered the toughest playground on the planet. But then, the way he always maintained his form to meet Eric Ten Hag's demands was amazing. No matter how many times Man United has left unforgettable performances, it is fair to say that Kobe Manu has never disappointed his home team fans. He is always one of the players who plays the best on the field, passing what are considered the toughest tests. Of course, with many years of undeveloped experience, Mainu can also make mistakes. For example, the disastrous situation of losing the ball caused the home team to concede a goal in the match against West Ham. But what is worth mentioning is that after that mistake, Kobe Mainu was still able to stand up strongly. He has proven that he knows how to overcome pressure and criticism to strive and return to his true development potential. Even coach Southgate recognized Manu's potential. Speaking about the decision to remove Manu from the team, the British coach shared, I think Kobe is performing excellently as a young player. We are never late in bringing young players to the team, but he has only played a few matches. You need to be careful in making those decisions at the right time, and ideally, we should give him the space and time to further develop his own talents. He hasn't played as many matches as Jude Bellingham or Bukayo Saka when they first arrived, but I emphasize again that he is playing very well and having great experiences with MU and seems to have a good personality to develop further. But many people think that Southgate is just trying to use an excuse to refuse to call up Kobe Mainu, but in fact, 
that opinion still has reference value. The first time Saka set foot in the England team's headquarters, he also accumulated two seasons playing for Arsenal. As for Jude Bellingham, even though he was only 17 years old when he first debuted, it's fair to say that he already has quite a bit of playing experience. Above all, this March training period is considered the last opportunity for Southgate to review his squad before coming to Euro 2024, which means he does not have too much time left to take risks. And then Southgate's carefulness and conservatism once again made him the focus of criticism. A few hours after Maynou was not on the list, many people stood up on his behalf to demand justice across the media. The climax was in the great battle with Liverpool in the quarterfinals of the FA Cup, where Kobe Mainu made everyone admire with his mesmerizing runs. During that dramatic victory, Kobe Mainu was a bright spot of light during his time on the field. This midfielder had 100% successful passes and 57 touches, six of which were in the opponent's penalty area. In addition, he also contributed two interceptions, seven out of 10 successful disputes, and created a clear opportunity. No one could have expected that a player who is not even 19 years old would show fearlessness in a big match. Mainu played as if he was used to, such a passionate atmosphere and gained absolute confidence to perform at his best. Mainu not only made Ten Hag satisfied, but even the captain on the other side of the battle line also praised him. The ABA football said Klopp gave Mainu a clap as a compliment for this star's talent. But now it seems that Southgate has heard all the fans' prayers and was convinced by Mainu's recent brilliance to make the final decision that this young man will be one of the 26 players he will use in the March call-up. Knowing that registering for the list is one thing, being given the opportunity to play or not is a very different story. But look at the situation of England's midfield at the moment. While Declan Rice and Bellingham are almost guaranteed a place in the official squad, there is still a place for the rest to compete for, including Gallagher, Mason Mount, and the person who just returned from injury Calvin Phillip, and maybe even Trent Alexander-Arnold, the player who will be absent this time due to injury. These are all great players that Mainu needs to face. But there are still many grounds to believe that he will be the suitable name that Southgate is looking for. Mainu has shown to be very adept at playing both the pivot and box-to-box -box roles. But by comparison, arguably his best performances have come from deeper positions in midfield, a factor that suits England's needs very well. Jude Bellingham has thrived in the number 10 position, while Declan Rice is also excelling when given the freedom to roam and the number 6 role has always been something England has struggled with over the years. Perhaps what makes Southgate most uncomfortable is that he lost the opportunity to test Trent in a similar position. But that means that the door of opportunity is opening for Mainu. Surely the next two matches will be the time for Mainu to express himself. What he needs to do most at this moment is to make full use of every moment he appears on the field to attract Southgate's attention. And who knows, not only in this call-up, but Mainu can also get a ticket to Germany this summer.